Fundamentals of Computing. What is a computer? The computer has become an indispensable tool in the world of work. Organizations depend on them for document preparation, communication, record keeping, and a host of other tasks. Computers have been programmed to carry out a series of logical and mathematical operations. The way in which they carry out these operations has changed over time, but fundamentally the computer always accepts input from you. The user does something and then shows you the results. So, if you input www.facebook.com into the address bar, the computer processes this information by finding that web page and outputs the results to the screen when it shows you the page. Input, process, output. So, a computer is an electronic machine that accepts input, data, processes that. Input and stores or outputs the resulting information. Computers today are available in a wide range of shapes, sizes and styles. Industry experts typically classify computers into eight categories, personal computers, mobile computers, mobile devices, game consoles, servers, mainframes, supercomputers, embedded computers. The increasing usage of computers in everyday life is largely due to the advantages gained as compared with doing tasks manually. Advantages include, increased speed with which the task is done, consistency and accuracy of the results produced, enhanced storage capabilities using a wide range of high-capacity, low-cost storage devices from which information is easily retrieved, reliability that organizations can depend on. Speed. Imagine having to write every page of your SBA by hand, and imagine you had to do this for five or six subjects. Think of the time you save when you use a computer and the additional benefits of adding images, using spell checker and sending documents digitally to your teacher. Now imagine a business with 10,000 customers and having to type or print out documents for each customer. How much quicker and easier would it be to send each customer a message by email? Would you have to type each email individually or could you use a template or copy the content? Accuracy, if you were applying for a job, would you send your CV off without checking the spelling? Think of how word processing software has improved the accuracy of the documents we produce. Businesses would be embarrassed by an error within their published information. They can make use of software to reduce these errors. Storage. If you want to visit a friend to listen to some new music or watch a new movie, you wouldn't want to carry every CD or DVD you own over to their house. Think of the potential for damaging or losing some CDs on the way. Instead, as storage media grow smaller, you can move data from place to place easily and securely. Think of how this applies to a business with thousands of customers. Each customer gets a monthly bill. How many filing cabinets would the business need to store these records? Large databases have the capacity to store this information securely and they offer businesses different ways to access the information and extract useful statistics. For example, what are the sales figures in one region compared to the next? Reliability, you need to contact your friend to ask a question about homework, but their email address is written in your diary and is still at home. You can log in and access this information through your online email account. You have a webmail account so you know you can access this information anywhere. It is easier for the security and integrity of data to be compromised. This is because of the digital nature of the data stored and the ease with which data may be transferred from one computer system to the next. The initial cost of setting up a computer system with all the required components is high. There are also costs associated with operating a computer system such as electricity, consumables, paper and ink, and any necessary repairs. A computer system is a complete computer installation including hardware, software, users, procedures and data. Hardware means the electronic components that make up a computer system, such as the central processing unit, CPU, storage devices, input devices and output devices. Hardware components are sensitive and are prone to failure and so care must be taken when using them. Some hardware components are called peripherals. These include all input, output, storage and communication devices. The CPU, motherboard and memory are not peripherals. Software is the name given to the programs that run on a computer. Software consists of instructions that tell the computer what to do. A user is anyone who interacts with a computer. Users provide the input, decide how the processes work and design the form the output will take. Users include students who use home computers, an author typing a manuscript, an artist creating a graphic design, or a gamer playing Call of Duty. 
manages formulate procedures for data entry, document processing and the general operation and use of computer hardware and software. Hardware and software should have documented procedures, user manuals, to indicate how to use them safely and effectively. New users can use these documents to teach themselves how to use the tools. Data are collections of numbers, characters, images or even audiovisual content that are in a form that can be processed by a computer to provide meaningful information. Each hardware device, that is a component of a computer system, has a particular function. In this chapter, we will discuss the functions of input devices, output devices, storage devices and the system unit. Input, input devices are specialized peripherals that serve to get data from users and the environment and prepare it for processing or storage. Most computer systems include a keyboard and a pointing device such as a mouse or touchpad. Additional devices such as scanners, digital cameras and PC cameras, webcams, are useful in document preparation as they facilitate graphical input. Microphones, usually abbreviated mic, are used to accept voice-based input, which may be used to control applications. Users can use voice commands via microphones to enter text and to control applications. A presentation clicker may be used to control a slideshow during a presentation. It sends radio signals to a USB receiver inserted in the computer's USB port. A presentation clicker may therefore be considered as an input device. Some clickers have a built-in laser pointer or light pen, which may be used to point to items of interest on a slide. Output, an output device is a specialized hardware component that allows the end user to look at or listen to the results of the processing activities. Most computer systems are equipped with a monitor, printer and a pair of speakers. Impact printers, line or dot matrix, are somewhat noisy as they use a hammer to strike an inked ribbon on the output media, usually paper, to produce the output. Non-impact printers, laser or inkjet, are quieter and generally faster. These types of printers are necessary when producing documents such as invoices and accounting reports on multi-part forms. Like printers, a range of monitors is available. Users may select a particular type or size based on the tasks to be carried out, the amount of space available on a desk or even based on office decor. Flat panel monitors are now very popular, and these have widely replaced CRT monitors that were once commonplace in most businesses. Whilst sizes range from 14 inches to 30 inches, 17 to 19 inch monitors are popular in Caribbean offices. Functions of various output devices Printer is to produce printed copies of documents on a range of stationery. Monitor is to display the operating system's desktop, the work area of application programs and the document being processed by the user. Multimedia projector is to display an enlarged image produced by a computer system. This is useful for presentations involving multiple participants, especially in a large room. Speakers are to allow playback of audio from applications and to provide audible alerts produced by the operating system and application software, which gives useful feedback to users. Touchscreen is to allow input and output direct from the screen. Functions of various input devices. Keyboard to enter commands and textual data into the computer system. Mouse to position a cursor on a computer screen and to manipulate objects. Microphone to enter sounds into the computer system. Scanner, to convert hard copy, printed documents to digital format. Digital camera to capture still images and short movies. PC camera, webcam, to capture images and sound. Barcode reader to capture the information contained in a barcode. Optical character reader, OMR, OCR, to capture handwritten or printed text. Touchscreen to allow input direct from the screen. A storage device is a hardware component that keeps data, information and program instructions permanently. There are many types of storage devices and they are available in a range of capacities. Some storage devices are portable while others are not. Secondary storage consists of all the hardware devices and media that keep data and information when a computer system is turned off. These include hard drives, CD-ROMs, DVDs and USB flash drives. Desktop computers, servers and notebook computers usually come pre-installed with an internal hard drive. An internal hard drive is not portable and is not usually visible unless the system unit is open, see section on system unit below. A computer system may have more than one hard drive installed. If additional drive storage is needed, an external hard drive may be connected via a USB or Firewire port. The USB and Firewire ports provide connection technology for attaching peripheral devices to a computer, providing fast data exchange. 
many businesses make a backup copy of their data to an external hard drive. This drive is then disconnected and stored in a fireproof location for safekeeping. Computer systems are also equipped for optical storage. Optical storage technology uses laser beams to read and write data. Compact discs, CD, and digital video discs, DVD, are two common types of optical media. Many of the computer systems being manufactured today are equipped with a DVD multi-recorder. These hardware devices allow a wide range of optical media to be used for storage.